Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Raghuveer. In this class, we'll discuss about uh, S box and P box that are present in our DES fiscal function. This is a continuation class. In our last class, we clearly discussed about the expansion box and exclusive or operation. There we have mentioned that uh, after completion of exclusive or operation, the output which we are going to get is 48 bit output. Please watch our pre previous class and come back here. This is a continuation class. So 48 bit input which we got from exclusive or operation, this 48 bit are sent into the S boxes. The real mixing of bits happens here. So how this S boxes will be? Here we are having 8 S boxes. Each S box is going to take 6 bit as input and it is going to provide you 4 bit as output means it is compression S box. 8, 6, 48 bits are considered as a 8 in inputs for 8 S boxes and each S box is going to provide 4 bits as output, 8, 4, 32 bit output you are going to get in this stage. So now we need to understand how this S box will be, how this 6 bits are converted to 4 bits, let's try to understand. Let's take if you are having 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 6 bits as input. The first bit and last bit are considered as index for the lines in the S box. First bit, last bit, 2 bits. With 2 bits, how many possibilities are there? 4 possibilities are there. That's why 0, 1, 2, 3. These are the 4 possibilities. 0th line, 1st line, 2nd line, 3rd line. The middle 4 bits... With 4 bits, how many possibilities are there? 16 possibilities are there. These are considered as index for the column. 0th column, 1st column, up to 15 columns are there. This is the S, S box table for 1st S box. Like this, you are going to have S box tables for 8 S boxes. We did not mention 8 S boxes here. For understanding purpose, we consider only 1 S box. Like this, you are having 8 S boxes. Now try to understand, if you take this example 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, the first bit and the last bit. What's the first bit and last bit? 0, 1. 0, 1 means 1. So consider the first line. And the middle 4 bits, 1, 1, 0, 1 means 13 value. You have to consider the 13th column. First line, 13th column. What's the value you are going to have? 5 is there here. In the first column, in the 13th column. 5 means here we have mentioned it in decimal. Actually, it should be in the binary value. 5 means 0101. So now with the 6 bits, what's the output you got? 4 bit output you got, which is 5. Value 5. Value 5 means 0101. You got it as output. So that's why this S box is going to provide 4 bit output. And the table looks like this. This is how and one important point you have to understand here. See here, first bit and sixth bit, we are considering it as input to the lines, number of li lines. And the middle four bits are considered as input to the columns. See the actual data is the middle four bits. The first bit and last bit are added bits. This point we already discussed in our last class during the expansion P box. So that's why these two bits, we are re removing these two bits, it's, it doesn't uh, matter here. So based on this 14, uh, you are going to get this, uh, you are going to provide these four values and the real actual mixing happens here. So from this, 48 bits are sent, uh, sent as input to the 8 S boxes and you are going to get output as 32 bits. These 32 bits which we got from this all these 8 S boxes are sent as input to the next stage. What's there in the next stage? P box, straight P box. Straight P box means 32 bits as input and 32 bits as output. How this straight P box looks like? This is the straight P box. See, what's the meaning of this? 16 means 16th bit in the actual input is considered as first bit in the output. Seventh bit in the input is considered as second bit in the output. This is the table for stride P box. 
hope you already know we, previously we have mentioned different many times about p boxes that's why we are not giving you much information about p box how it works uh, this is the output which you are going to get 32 bit output you are going to get uh, finally so in our des crystal function 32 bit input is considered and finally you are going to get 32 bit output hope you understand what's happening inside the s box and p box if you have any questions regarding the concept please post your questions in the comment section below thanks for watching if you haven't subscribed to our channel please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates thank you